Welcome everyone, before you skip straight to the video, check the timestamps down below. This video starts off with iOS 16. In order to remove the shortcut notification, you will need to completely recreate your shortcuts for iOS 16. You can just edit the current ones for iOS 15 and older if you already have shortcuts. And if you don't have shortcuts created and you want to change the app icons, of course, I'll go through that one as well. Then iOS 15 and older, I'll cover how to change the app icons for those who you know don't know. However, if you do know, then there is a timestamp where you can skip to to remove the notification. Well, again, that's for iOS 15 and older. So I'm going to start with iOS 16 and newer, changing the app icons, then remove the notification, then I'll move to iOS 15. Skip to the timestamp for your iOS firmware. Let's go right into this. The first step is we're going to open up the shortcuts app. From here, you want to go to all shortcuts. You do that by just tapping on the shortcuts button here. Now we're going to see the plus. We're going to tap on the plus. So we need to create this shortcut once and then every other shortcut we use uh, will have that different app icon and we link to this shortcut. OK, so we're going to select add action. Search and you're going to search for show notification. Select this one and no other ones. And then you're going to see we have the shortcut called show notification and you see show notification right here. Once you've done that, just tap on done. Now we're going to create shortcuts to change the app icons. You repeat this step for every single app icon you would like to change. The shortcut which shows the notification you only create once. So to change the app icon again, do the shortcut for every app. You're going to tap on the plus. From here, you're going to select add action. You then go to search for very important. You get this right. Run shortcut. OK, you're going to select run shortcut and not open shortcut. If you select open shortcut, which weirdly people were doing when that isn't what you're meant to do, uh, this tutorial is just not going to work. OK. So what you do is you select run shortcut. Very important. You select run shortcut, tap on this one. And then where you see the shortcut, tap on this. And you just want to select the shortcut which shows the notification. You can see this one right here. This is what we created earlier. For every app icon you change, you just select this exact shortcut, show notification. Now we're going to search for open app. You're going to tap on the app and then you're going to tap on the empty field here and you're going to select the app you would like to open. So in my case, the app store. Now we're going to tap on the arrow here. We're going to select rename and we're going to rename this to open and then the app name. So in my case, app store. When you do create multiple shortcuts, you just want to change the name right here every shortcut you create. Now you're going to select the share icon. You're going to find add to home screen. And from here, make sure you change this to have the app name you would like, in my case, App Store. And we want to change the icon too. So just tap on the icon here, select choose photo and just choose the custom app icon you would like. So in order to get these custom app icons, just search up custom, the app name and an icon. You can also find it on social media like Pinterest. So select your custom app icon, select choose and then tap on add. So right now you can have an app icon which is changed on iOS 16. However, by default, there will still be notifications which appear. So if I select the app here. You must select allow for open app store to run another shortcut. If you select don't allow, you will need to delete the shortcut you created from the shortcuts app and recreate it because it literally won't run. So we'll tap on allow. And right now we have a, uh, changed the app icon, but we have this notification which is showing up every single time. In order to remove the notification for iOS 16 and newer only, for iOS 15 and older, check the timestamp down below. We're going to open up the settings app. You're then going to select screen time. And just make sure if you don't have screen time on, you turn it on right here. Now we're going to find the app in question, 
the custom app icon and we're going to spam open it about five times so one two three four five what this does is it tells screen time that shortcuts has been sending notifications and when it knows that we can remove the notification so now go back into the screen time settings you then go into select see all activity you're going to scroll to the bottom and you should see here notifications and you should see shortcuts now i don't have the option to tap into shortcuts to turn off the notification okay it's not working so the solution is you're going to scroll up you're going to see the 60m 30m just slide back and then reverse it okay so you slide to the right then slide to the left and now we have the option to select this right here if that still doesn't work, spam open the shortcut in question five more times, go back into screen time, repeat that process until you have the arrow here. Okay, these steps apply for iOS 16 and newer. So we're going to tap into shortcuts here and we're going to turn off allow notifications. But every time you restart your iPhone, this will reverse, okay? It will turn back on, which means you will need to repeat this step every single time you restart your device. If you don't want to do that, I understand, uh, but just try and not kill your iPhone, okay? Just make sure uh, you have enough charge overnight, etc. And now, when we open up the app on iOS 16 and newer, half the time you, you will see absolutely no notification. Sometimes you will see a small banner here that shows up. Sometimes it will just show up fully. If you would like to increase the success rate of the notification not showing up, you can see these past two attempts it kind of just gave itself up right what you're going to do is you're going to open up the shortcuts app tap on automation you're going to see here create personal automation tap on this one from here you're going to find where it says app you're then going to choose the apps you change the app icon for so you only need to create one automation just add more apps as you, you know, include them. Then tap on next. Don't add any actions here. Tap on next again. Turn off, ask before running, but turn on notify when run. And then tap on done. Make sure that screen time notifications is off. And now you can see earlier things weren't working, but now almost every single time you're not gonna see the little banner and if you do see the banner, it's for a very small amount of time, a split second, if anything. And you're never going to have the issue where you see the full banner show up. And if that does happen, something glitched in the OS, okay, you can see before it was like every five, every ten times you'd see the full banner show up. But now it is not showing up at all. Now let's go through changing the app icons on iOS 15 and older. So the first step. Is we're going to open up the shortcuts app from here you want to find the plus if you don't see the plus just tap on my shortcuts here then select all shortcuts and the plus should be available tap on this one and then tap on add action you're then going to search for open app you should see here open app tap on this one you're going to see the app here, tap on this, and then select the application you would like to open. So in my case, Safari, I'll select this one, and then you're going to see the shortcut name. Just name this to open, and then the app name. So in my case, Safari. This just means when you create multiple uh, custom app icons, uh, you're not going to forget which app icon is which. Now, you're going to tap on the share icon here, you're going to see add to home screen select this you're going to see the home screen name just change the name to the app uh, name you would like so in my case just safari then tap on the app icon here choose photo and then select your custom app icon if you need to get your custom app icons just google custom the app name you want then icon We'll go on to Pinterest or other social media. And then once you have that app icon, just select add. So right now we are still going to get shortcut notifications. 
every time we open up the app, you see that banner shows up showing shortcuts. OK, in order to remove the notifications on iOS 15 and older, you have a very simple solution. So you can see right here, the shortcut pop up is showing up. And in order to remove this, you're going to open up the shortcuts app. From here, you're going to find where it says automation. You're then going to select create personal automation or tap on the plus at the top right hand side. Now scroll to the bottom. You're going to see app tap on this one. You're then going to see app here, select choose and then select all of the applications you created a custom app icon for. Then you just tap on next. Add action. You're going to search for number tap on number and then find next turn off ask before running don't ask and done so this only works for ios 15 and older and you can see absolutely no notification is going to show up and everything is perfect with those tricks you have now removed the shortcut notification regardless of the ios firmware so with that being said thanks for watching Leave a like because this took a while to make. Bye bye.